So this is the all new Retro Station PC Pro, a pre-configured mini PC with over 30,000 games ready to play out of the box. Now this entire bundle comes with the mini PC, two wireless controllers, and you also get this mini keyboard allowing you to navigate through Windows 11. Now we'll put the specs on the screens for this. So this mini PC is powered by the Ryzen 7 5800H. You also get 16 gigs of RAM. The GPU is a Radeon graphics with eight cores. You have Wi-Fi 6, that two terabyte NVMe SSD, gigabit ethernet. But the real magic in this is that retro station PC software, which has been pre-installed, pre-configured, by the company Explosion of Fun. Now, let's open this up. In fact, so here we see the mini PC. We have a really nice texture on the top here. We can see this is a known brand B-Link, which is a very good brand for mini PCs. At the front here, we can see we have a, a reset CMOS for the BIOS. We have two USB uh, 3 ports. We also have a Type-C 10 gigabit port for data and video. You have a headphone jack and the power cable. This side here, we've got some good ventilation. Now on the back here, we have that gigabit ethernet. We have a USB 2 port, another USB 3 port. We have a display port out, and we also have HDMI and more ventilation. And we have the power input here. This side, we've got more ventilation. Underneath here, we can see just the specs one more time. Let's put that to one side. Also in the box, we have some different size HDMI cables, and we also get the power brick. So we'll have to use an adapter here in the UK. And here we can see one of the bundled controllers. So you've got the standard D-pad here, your two analog sticks, you got this button here, which will be your select button and your standard ABXY. You got two shoulder buttons here and we can see you charge this with a micro USB uh, port. And this does come with a, a USB micro receiver, but as with any of these devices, you can always pair your own Xbox controller or really any Bluetooth controller that you like. It does feel fairly cheap in the hand, but main thing is, does it actually do the job? Which I will obviously demonstrate once we get onto the gameplay. So this is everything you get in the box. Let me now power this up and let's have a look at exactly what this new Retro Station PC looks like. So I've just powered on the Retro Station PC and it takes you straight into Windows 11. And we see this really nice video wallpaper where you can see some kids playing their uh, Super Nintendo. We can see Street Fighter 2 playing in the background. We have another animation over there. It just looks like a really nice, cool video wallpaper. Now, as this is a fully fledged Windows 11 mini PC, of course, you're free to install any kind of software that you like, whether you want to install some office applications for productivity, or you want to access social media, or you know, use a normal browser. All of that is already built into Windows 11. But what we're here for is retro gaming. Now, as you can see here, I've, I've just plugged in a USB keyboard and mouse. I'm just using my own ones here, but the bundle does come with that free mini keyboard, which does have that built-in touchpad. Now I can see here right on the desktop, we have retro station. So I'm gonna click on this icon here. Let's double click on that. And let's see exactly what happens. Now I can tell you straight away because I have used some of the, the previous retro stations before that was lightning quick. And I think one of the reasons for that is because they're using that two terabyte NVMe SSD, it's just way faster than any of the previous drives in the previous older generations. And we're now into the all familiar RetroStation homepage. Let's see if the controller pairs first time. So if I just press this button here, this should now pair with the, with the USB dongle. Abixi has done exactly that. Okay, so let me now take you through this massive list of systems, gaming systems. So um, I guess we'll just start That's the number. here in all games. And here we can just confirm that in all games, we have over 30,000 games directly on this two terabyte SSD drive. Okay, so you have your favorites, so you can add games into your favorites. Then you've got your systems like 3DO, Amstrad, Final Burn Neo, MAME, Atari, lots of Atari, Jaguar, Wonderswan, Wonderswan Color, you got the different CPS systems, ColecoVision, Commodore 64, Amiga 500, Amiga CD32. I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to speed up now, but you can just see all of your favorite systems, even the N1s are all in here with Super N, N64, N GameCube, uh, Game Boy Advance, um, lots and lots. Now you can see, for example, on this, you've got 203 games pre-included. Then you've got um, some ports here, like classic uh, Quake. 
then you've got some RPG game, and then you'll hear back to the main menu. Now you can press the start button here, and I can change some of the game settings, like the game ratio. I can do auto save and loading. I can modify the shaders if you want to. Those options are all in here. Here you can modify the screen server settings if you want to show an on-screen on clock. Lots of options in here, but the main thing is, and this is what I'm trying to demonstrate that out of the box, you can plug this in and just go ahead and start enjoying all of these games. Now let's go back. Okay, so, I mean, where, where, where do you begin? Here, for example, you've got the Sega Model 3. Let's try that. And we've got a couple of games in here, some racing games. Let's try this fighting game. Okay, so here we are with some fighting game. Uh, take that. All right, special attack. Nice bit of wrestling move there. Okay, let's see if we can take this guy on. Uh, take that. He did. Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can jump. Okay, I mean, if truth be told, I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but it looks good. <laughs> but we can see that's super smooth. We can see there's no stuttering, there's no drop frames. That's just a really nice, smooth game. Okay, that's working great. Let's go back. Let's try some PS2. Let's click on that. And you've got lots and lots of uh, PS2 games. Uh, which one should we quickly play? But you can see, guys, everything is just super smooth. Everything's working flawlessly. Uh, let's go for good old uh, Ryu. So yeah, I can see guys, the controller, even though we did say it did feel a bit cheap, but I'm able to pull out all these special moves consistently. So that way it's actually working uh, flawlessly. Let's see if I can get a super move out. Take that. All right, <laughs> that's working great. Uh, let's press start and select together. Now then take us back to the main menu where we now can go through a massive list of more games to play. That's the number two. Let's try Did some PS3. Know? Okay, so here we have some PS3 emulation on this retro station PC Pro. All right, so, whoa, okay. Does want to talk then. Take that. Huh. This is very close. No, oh, damn it, I lost. Okay. It's pretty good actually. Yeah, Alright. Tech Doctor is not happy with you. Huh. Go for the leg. Huh. Okay, block, block, block. Okay, no block. <laughs> but you can see, guys, PS3 emulation on this is super smooth. Okay, I'm happy with that. It looks really good. Even though it's still compiling the shaders, and things will actually improve somewhat once these shaders are fully compiled. It normally just happens the first time when you play a new game. Okay, let's press start and select together. Okay, we're back out of PS3. Press back again. I mean, just so many systems, so many games everything pre-configured you could literally spend a very long time on this and still not play every game that this has okay they've even got the og xbox let's have a look at that okay you got some classic games here you got some uh, teenage mutant ninja turtles you got simpsons soccer slam halo 2 just lots. Oh, good old Crazy Taxi. Let's try a racing game. And you can see, guys, whichever system you click on, whichever game you click on, all of this has been pre-configured. You can see that the emulator just popped up in the background. It launches the game. It finds the ROM, starts the game, and in a couple of seconds, you are straight in there. Okay, let's just do a short lap. Wow. All right. Let's see if I can make this turn. All right, a bit of drifting there, a um, bit of wall eating as well. <laughs> Let's try the next one. OK, 
Okay, what position am I? I am... All oh, right, pretty near the back. Okay, thirty-eight now. Can I change the view? Oh yeah, I can. Okay, so you might prefer a closer view like that, or inside, or the road view. Wow, this looks quite uh, engaging. All right, we can see I'm thirty-five now. Actually, let's have a look at the car. All right, I can see my bonnet is now. Um, flapping <laughs> but that works really well guys um, so wrapping up this video guys I have to say firstly it's taken me a long time to film this because I've just spent hours and hours playing these games as you've seen the system comes pre-configured with those 30,000 games across pretty much every system that you could potentially want to play so all of your 8-bit 16-bit 32-bit PS1, PS2, PS3, all of the N-word, um, Nintendo, <laughs> all of those systems are all included. So to have something pre-configured like that for somebody that enjoys retro gaming, I just think it's a fantastic thing. Now, of course, if you are inclined that way, you can obviously buy your own PC, mini PC separate, or maybe you could use a, a laptop. You could then uh, download a front end, you can download ROMs, you can download emulators, and go ahead and make your own personal retro gaming console that you've you know handmade yourself you've configured everything yourself but for many people myself included who just don't have the time or maybe maybe they don't necessarily have the technical ability to have a pre-configured system like this where literally you just plug it in pair up your controllers and you are good to play all of these games straight away so no need to configure any emulators no need to configure any settings literally just plug and play attach this to your tv or to a monitor and you can go ahead and enjoy all of these amazing retro games out of the box so i think for that for many people a solution like this actually works really well that's pretty much for this video guys many thanks for watching i will leave all of the links in the video description and the pinned comment if you want to check this console out many thanks to explosion of fun who sent this out for review do have a look at their websites they do have lots of other retro gaming consoles they also have retro gaming pcs they even have some things for the steam deck so if you want to get a, a pre-configured image for that pre-configured with lots of games lots of emulators that's also available directly on the explosion of fun website so really appreciate your support to like and share this video and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks